Hey you guys, it's Moonlander, and I wanted to start a series where I check out some of the free games on Steam and sort of give them a review and give you my thoughts on how they are and if they're even worth the bother of playing. And for the first episode of this series, I'm going to be taking a look at a game called Soda Dungeon. This game was a mobile only game that was made available for PC. You can definitely tell that this is a mobile game. It is very simple. At first I felt like I was going to be very bored playing this game since the first few times you enter a dungeon you basically trade attacks until you run out of health and then you uh, and there's only one attack <laughs> and uh, then you return to your tavern in the local village to start over again uh, it was several hours later I realized that I was addicted to the progression in the game and the goal is to make it to the highest level in the dungeon after each trip into the dungeon you are rewarded with golden items with strengthen your abilities, armor, weapons, and types of characters that you can bring with you. Your first trip into the dungeon starts with a man wearing nothing but underwear, and by the time I decided I should take a break, I had gained several different types of armor and weaponry, which allowed me to progress further as far as the levels were concerned. Yeah, and besides leveling your gear, you can upgrade the tavern. And uh, you can get new recruits and vendors who will also aid you with your upgrades. Everything costs gold, so you have to grind out some of the attempts. Uh, you know, you have to go replay through the levels, you know, just to grind out gold and items to help upgrade um but i felt like they made the game re uh, only require a reasonable amount of grinding it wasn't like i had to do it over and over again they do let you progress through the levels and uh i like that because if it was too grindy with the simplicity of the game, I mean, I, I just wouldn't play it, I, I don't think. And uh, it wasn't until I made it further into the game where the upgrades to purchase, um, where uh, upgrades became available to purchase, and they were for, like, uh, you know, large amounts of gold that would take hours and hours to grind. Um, and I believe this is where the microtransactions begin to tease you because you can pay to get gold. But, uh, I mean, really, I went pretty far. I think I got up to, like, level in the 70s, level-wise, level and uh, I, I never felt like I had to buy gold. Um... And they also, uh, uh, when you reach a certain point, all the vendors that you've been dealing with, there's like a wizard, a bartender, and uh, uh, there's a few others. Uh, they give you the option of bringing them with you into the dungeon. And they have like legendary items, so I imagine they're really badass or something, but... Um, you can only bring them if you have a, a special currency that I can only imagine can be attained, obtained through microtransactions. And if there was another way to acquire the gold or the currency, um, I didn't come across it. So I'm pretty sure they were trying to get you there to uh, pay some money. Um, my final thoughts on this game is that it's pretty mindless, but it was addicting, and I do sort of enjoy that type of game at times, and I'll leave it installed, and I'll probably play it again, you know, just for the heck of it, but, uh, 
you know, probably when I don't feel like thinking too hard. <laughs> But uh, I do suggest giving this game a try. Um, you can't really expect a free-to-play game without microtransactions. Because, I mean, you, you know, I mean, we don't want to, you know, discuss that. I mean, I understand it. It's just, uh, you know, you really got to love the game, I, I feel, for me to start, like, paying extra. Uh, um, small amounts of money here and there to progress through it. I mean, I don't think I've ever done that. Probably the only game I spent additional money on uh, besides just buying outright uh, DLC content uh, as far as like more levels or story or maps for multiplayer uh, would be Overwatch at Halloween. I think I bought 20 loot boxes because I really wanted some of the skins. But uh, I just thought I'd bring that up to kind of let you know where I'm coming from with the microtransactions. Uh, I, I don't like I don't like them, but I understand why they're there because you know you get to play the game for free, so they gotta make money somewhere, but. As long as, like, I think probably the best game I've ever uh, come across for microtransactions is probably Path of Exile. And uh, someone I know that plays that game, like, a ton, uh, you know, he's went out of his way to spend money on the game because he's such a big fan of it. So, uh, I don't really feel like this game is like that, but... Um, my final rating on this free-to-play game is going to be a 7 out of a 10. And, uh, you know, if you want a game where you don't have to think too hard and just kind of click around, or you like mobile games, uh, th this one is definitely worth trying. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.